inputs coming in on Manipur. We're now learning that Congress leader Rahul Gandhi will be visiting Valence Hit Manipur on 29th of June. The AICC General Secretary K.C. Venugopal has announced that Gandhi will interact with society representatives in Imphal and Chura Chandpur during his visit. This is the latest that we are bringing to you. Uh, remember, there was an all-party meet presided over by the Home Minister, the Honourable Amit Shah. And soon after, we are now learning that Rahul Gandhi will be visiting Manipur uh, on 29th of June. It's important to talk about how this has been a violence hit uh, state and uh, Manipur has been burning for nearly two months and desperately needs a healing touch so that the society can move from conflict to peace. This is a humanitarian tragedy and it is our responsibility to be a force of love, not hate. This is what Congress leader had to say. This is what AICC General Secretary KC Venugopal has also said while announcing that Rahul Gandhi will be interacting with uh, various communities from uh, Manipur. On that note, I'm also joined in by our political editor Pallavi Ghosh on the phone line. Pallavi, uh, what is Rahul Gandhi's program going to be like and how do you contextualize this visit considering there was much backlash coming uh, from the opposition parties, including the Congress, as far as the central government's efforts in controlling the violence in Manipur is concerned? So essentially what he's going to do is he's going to visit uh, many of the affected areas and also people living in the relief camps and he's going to interact with them. And if you look at the kind of statement which has been put out by the Congress party and also many of the means that they started putting out, what they're pointing out is while the Prime Minister travelled abroad, Prime Minister has no time to give attention to Manipur. Rahul Gandhi, who's just a former member of Parliament uh, and the Congress leader, He's actually taking time out to interact with the people of Manipur for at least two days, which is 29th and 30th. Uh, this could snowball into a political controversy with the BJP may accuse him of trying to stoke trouble at a time when the government is working overtime to try and ensure that things are normalized. But I think Rahul Gandhi and the Congress party are trying to send out that message that the Prime Minister may not have time to give focus to Manipur. Many people have died. Violence continues over there. But he's taken the initiative uh, to actually go there and to meet up with the people there. Absolutely. We've also seen uh, how the Congress party raised a demand for an all-party delegation to visit the violence hit area. At the same time, they've also demanded the resignation of uh, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh. Uh, what are the kind of demands that have been posed by the Congress party? So they raised an objection to the all-party meeting, which was called by the Home Minister in Delhi. And on two points, one, why is the Prime Minister not involved in the all-party meeting? Why is the meeting being held at a time when the Prime Minister is travelling abroad? That's one. And the second point to which they objected to was the fact that why was the meeting being held in Delhi when actually it should have been held in Imphal, where all the opposition political parties, along with the government representative, could actually roam around the state, or at least in Imphal, to interact with the people who have been affected. In fact, the Congress's representative was a former Chief Minister of Manipur, Ebobi Singh, someone who of course comes in from the state and that's again another messaging which came in from the Congress that we are sem sending someone who understands the ground situation unlike the BGP. All right.